Hi guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com back at you again. So I'm back uh, with some tests of the Lion Energy UT, Safari UT batteries. And the first, I had to split it up into two videos, there were so many tests here, but the first video is going to be discharge tests at different uh, amperages. So I'm going to start with a really slow test uh, over the course of days and days, just a, a few amps. Then I'm going to do one around 8 to 10 amps then an 80 amp test and finally I'm going to finish it off with a, a full uh, 150 amp test out of one of the batteries. That's the max capacity that uh, it can be drawn out of it. So I want to see if it can do it um, right from full to empty. So that should be pretty cool. Anyway, and then in the second one I'm going to do some charging tests and I'm going to do a comparison with my old golf cart battery, lead acid batteries. So also stay tuned for that after the first video. So let's get to testing. So my first test that I'm going to do is a slow type drain on the batteries. I turned off all my charging sources about five or six days ago. Um, and uh, I've just been draining the batteries slowly. Just a few, uh, just as we're living, just lights and stuff like that. So it's probably been only around, you know, one to three amp drain over a course of five or six days. I want to see if the capacity um, it's rated for is actually what I'm getting. Uh, so the batteries are rated for 90 amp hours capacity. They call them a 100 amp hour battery but supposedly 90 amp hours is the rated, rated capacity. I have three so I should get 270 amp hours <clears throat> of light of capacity out of them. Right now you see we're at 215 according to my, my trimetric battery monitor. Let's go through and check the voltage here. We're at 12.9 volts still. Um, still plenty of voltage. You can see currently we're drawing 1.5 amps. And we're at 20% of capacity. So I'll continue on and we'll see if we can get the, the rated 270 amp hours out of this or if it shuts down before that. Okay, we've had 11.5 volts on the battery bank. Trimetric's actually squawking at me, battery low. Let's see what we have. 1% left, it says. Let's check the amp hours. 267, so we're awfully close, probably within error rounding. Let's go check out the voltage on the battery bank outside. 11.57 volts on the bank, the three battery bank. Inverter's still running actually. Let's put a little bit more load on it. Three amps. So it's still got a little bit juice left in it. The BMS hasn't cut out yet in the batteries but I'm not going to go any further with this test. Okay for the next test I'm going to bump it up to about a 10 amp load here. We've got uh, my inverter running and it's powering our 43 inch TV. So around 10 amps would really simulate quite an average RVers load if they're running lights and computers and maybe a TV or something like that. So we're going to let the Lion Energy Safari UT just power that until it uh, goes flat. It's totally charged up right now. Um, and we'll see how many amp hours we can get out of the, the battery at that 10 amp load. Okay, so I'm at 84.5 amp hours. So I'm getting close to the end. This, I believe, should give me somewhere close to 90 amp hours. Um, so I took it off the TV and switched it over, changed the load to my heat gun. I just don't want it to go drain and have the inverter cutting out on our expensive TV, so I put it, just changed the load. It's pretty close to the same, right around 10 amps. So we'll let that go down until the, the inverter or the battery cuts off. Okay, we're getting near the end. We're down to 12 volts. 7 amps. Check the amp hours. Okay, we're at 87.5, so we're getting close to the 90 amp hour battery capacity. 
won't let her go until either the battery quits or the inverter can no longer function. Okay, drop to 11.7. Check the amp hours. We're at 88.4. Okay, it's probably going to pack it in any minute now. Voltage is way down 11 volts. Still. There we go. You can hear it screaming. I'll call it at 89.7. So my inverter shut down. That's the big tone you were hearing as it was screaming low voltage. Battery didn't shut down, but uh, it's down to 11.23 volts. Might have had a little bit longer, but if I look at the indicator light here, it's showing flashing, which in the manual basically means 0%. So it's exhausted. Okay, so next I'm going to, I've done the 1 amp and a 10 amp, around a 10 amp. I'm going to do an 80 amp discharge and then we'll go for the whole hog and do a 150 amp discharge rate, which is what this is rated for continuous. So stay tuned. For the next test, we're going to do a, a high current drain test on the battery. So I've charged it up with my IntelliPower charge converter there and we're at the point where the BMS is cut off and we have it showing 100% full on the battery and on my trimetric. Just check the amp hours here. So we're starting from 0.0, .0 amp hours and so I'm going to put a load on it and we'll see how how many amp hours it can put out. I use this heater as a consistent load and I'm going to put it in its 900 watt range which will pretty well max out my continuous load for my 1000 watt uh, pure sign inverter. Okay, so I hooked up an amp meter here so we can see how many amps are it's drawing. So we'll just uh, unplug the charge converter and we'll turn this on. Oh, first I gotta turn the inverter on. There we go. That should be 900 watts. We got looking at 81, right around 81 amps. And what's the voltage at? 12.8. So we're gonna let that run until the battery r runs right down and then we'll, we'll see how many amp hours we got out of it. I'm just using a single battery for this test so it'd take too long to do my bank of three so we'll just try it on the on the one. Okay, <clears throat> I'm showing about 27 amp hours used so far. We're still solid at 81.8 amps. Check the voltage. Battery is holding at 12.6 volts. So we'll keep her going. Quick update here. We're at 12.5 volts. Still drawing over 80 amps. 85.5. Let's check the amp hours. Okay, we've hit 65.8. We'll keep her going. Okay, voltage is starting to drop a bit. We're down to 12.3 now. Seemed to hold around 12.6 for quite a while. Let's go in and check what kind of amp hours we're at. Looks like we're at 78.3.4. Okay, well when it quits it's going to also take the power out off to this uh, trimetric. So. It's going to leave the camera ro rolling. We'll see uh, what we get to. <laughs> okay, it's starting to scream at me. 87. Check the voltage quickly. 10. Eighty-seven point three. 
basically quitting. <laughs> So the BMS did its job, shut it down. Battery feels a little bit warm. Okay guys, for the next test, I'm gonna text, test the max output of this single battery. Uh, they're listing max continuous rate at 150 amps. Uh, a lot of these uh, batteries are rated for 100, so that's kind of one of the special things about this one is it uh, can put out 150 continuous amps. They can put out a 900 amp peak, but that's only a split second. I think it can do 250 amps for a minute, but we're going to try 150 amps and see how it performs. Now I just have a 1000 watt inverter, so the max I can use on that's about 80 amps, and I don't have enough um, extra amps in the RV circuitry. So I'm going to use this cheapy inverter to add a load to it. I've just added it with its alligator clips. And also I've alligator clipped on my uh, portable Viair pump. It'll probably give me you know, 10 or 15 amps. And the uh, little cheapy inverter will run this heater. It'll probably do 50 amps. So the combination of everything should give me around 150 amps. So let's fire everything on and then I'll check the amperage with my trimetric battery monitor going through the shunt there. It'll measure all the current that's coming through the battery. So we'll turn this sucker on. And we'll turn this on. And then here I got a, uh, my heat gun. There we go. So we'll go inside and uh, check what's going on. Well, with those three things, it's pretty constant 152 amps according to my trimetric. So maybe I'll let her go and uh, see how long it lasts. 12.2 volts already. See how many amp hours we've used so far. 18. Okay. Well, might as well let her go if all those things keep running. <laughs> See what we end up with. Just taking some temperature measurements on the case. It's not really heating up at all. Pretty good. So we'll see uh, how much the temperature rises on the case there. But for the most part, it's all sitting right in the 70 degree range, mid 70s. Right on the lug, it goes up to 80. Today, it's in the 60s outside. A little bit of a check in here. We're at 12.1 volts. 153 amps. Check the amp hours used. 46.3. Okay, voltage is starting to drop quicker now. I find with these lithium batteries, they stay pretty constant, and then right at the end, they roll off quite quickly. So you can see it's starting to drop below 12 volts. Current's going up a bit, 155 amps now. Take a look at the amp hours. Right at 64.4. Well, I'll run her right till she dies. I don't advise you doing this to your battery, but uh, I'm going to do this for you guys so it gets a really good, rigorous test. Decided to turn that uh, via air compressor off. Didn't want to go way beyond what the max continuous was rated for. So now we're back down to 147. Let's see what the voltage are, so. We'll keep going. Okay, she's starting to drop. So we'll leave it on this amp hour so we can catch the, the last reading before everything quits there.
Okay, I'll have to call that quits right about there. 11.3. My uh, cheapy inverter decided to pack it in from low voltage shutdown. So I'll call it right around 80, just a little over 80 amp okay, hour. Okay, so at 150 amp draw continuous, got right around 80 uh, amp hours or so before the, basically the battery became useless because started the inverter started shutting down from low voltage. It was down to about 11.3 volts. So let's just take some temperature measurements. I'll take some temperature measurements around the battery, see what kind of uh, heating we got from that. Top of the battery, sometimes I'm getting into the 90s, but the hottest spot is right down here, just below the positive terminal, getting up into the 100. 109 is the highest spot I can find on the case. So I guess if you were to be running these batteries um, in a box like I have, somewhere where it's really warm, it might be advisable to, uh, you know, I have them insulated right now, but uh, I'm going to have three of them together, so I'm, they'd be sharing the load. But if you're running somewhere hot, you may want to, you know, put them into a cooler environment. Right around there. Still... Not too bad considering how much current was coming out of that puppy for so long. And three of these together, if I was doing that, I could put out 450 amps out of my bank. Continuous. That's pretty impressive. Okay, there's the discharge tests. And uh, so you could see as we pulled more amps out of it, we got less amp hours. Went from right near 90 amp hours, which is their rating, all the way down to close to 80 amp hours when I was pulling the full 150 amps. Still not too bad. Um, so let's go next to the next video. So check out the link in the description to part two of this where I'll do some charging tests uh, and also a comparison with my lead acids.